Good evening everyone, time for another Silver Update. We are looking at the 8 hour chart and we are rapidly approaching the rising trend line that we've been following for a while. So we're approaching a key date. What date that is, we're not sure, but it's going to be the date of the test of this line and possible break down through this line if that happens. Now, as I've been pointing out, we're at the Martin Armstrong turn date, so uh, Martin Armstrong pointed out that he was hoping for the metals that we would make a drastic low on this date and then he would expect a rally because that would be a key sentiment change date. Now, we can still go down and possibly penetrate this line tonight, but my guess is it's not likely. So, is silver the commodity that Armstrong is looking for? I don't think so. But, again, even if we don't penetrate this line, if we see a move such as this, maybe, from this point on, then that may make that the key date that Armstrong is looking for. So it's still potentially possible that this could be a key turning date for silver or silver could be the key commodity that he's looking for. I don't really see any other commodities, maybe the euro, but there's really nothing that is showing key turn dates at this point in time. So. Maybe hindsight is 2020. Here's a breakdown in the Swiss franc. So I know oil is dropping and the dollar is rallying a little bit. Nothing like any kind of key turning date at this point in time. So we'll have to wait and see if Martin Armstrong is right. He's been uncanny in his past predictions but that doesn't mean he's going to be right in the future. So I wanted to jump over to my channel real quick and point out that uh, I've moved the Bitcoin issue over to my Conspiracy Nation channel. Under the About Me part on my channel, there's a link over to my sister channel, Conspiracy Nation. That's where I'm going to be putting all my Bitcoin videos from now on, just because many of the silver community people are not really interested about bitcoins and they're not for them they're really against them so I'm gonna honor that and not turn another silver channel into a bitcoin channel I know da Vinci's received a lot of heat for that so I'm not gonna disappoint people's uh, expectations about this being a silver channel and turn it into a Bitcoin channel but I am going to do a lot about Bitcoins and that will be over on Conspiracy Nation. I think it's appropriate forum because I think it meshes well with some of the content over there. Now I wanted to address really quick uh, the donation links that I put on my channel I am accepting Bitcoin donations and I've put a Bitcoin address here and if you send Bitcoin donations to that address, I'll receive them. And I've also put a link to Bitcoin Plus, which allows you to generate coins for me if you click on that link. So if you go down here and click on this link, then it'll take you to Bitcoin Plus and it'll start generating if you hit that button it'll start generating coins for my channel so there's a number of ways you can donate I not really interested in accepting cash donations I've had a lot of people who wanted to donate cash but because of tax consequences and a lot of other things I'm not really interested in that but I am interested in Bitcoin donations because I'm really interested in this idea and it's uh, 
really promising going forward. I'm not going to cover it anymore on my silver channel because I think that's not really popular. But if you do want to support my silver channel with Bitcoin donations, I uh, invite you to either send them directly, whatever amount you want, to the address I have posted, which it may change because I don't really understand the nature of how you generate new addresses, but for now it's this address. Or if you want to, you can get a spare computer that you're not really concerned about and click on the Bitcoin Plus link and generate coins for my page. Either way, it's supporting my page and uh, I appreciate any donations. So, not a lot happening in silver. I'm going to continue the FOFOA series and finish that one out. It's been a long time coming and it's taken a, a real long time and uh, it needs to be addressed. So, I expect the next episode is going to be talking a little about of what the Martin Armstrong turning point is going to be if that's silver and then I'll go ahead and continue with the FOFOA series and we'll talk to you next time.